Hello everyone, it's Robin here and happy spring. I know I've been saying that all week, but I'm really excited spring is here. And today we're gonna infuse some spring into the planner. I have my classic vertical planner here. We're doing a plan with me and I'm pulling in all the spring vibes. I've got the spring garden collection from my Etsy shop and look at all of these beautiful spring colors. Oh, I am loving it. Let's just flip this camera down and get to planning. Today we're planning for the week of March 25th through the 31st. So we have the end of March right here. I am pulling in my entire spring garden collection from my Etsy shop. These stickers are really pretty and they just scream spring. And we have some also some pretty boxes and some colorful boxes. So I'm excited to use this. I won't use maybe all of these, but I don't know, I think I'm really feeling these bunnies here because Easter is at the end of this week, so this should be fun. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I have the spring guard in here. I really love that sheet. These are really pretty. I'll hold these off to the side just in case we wanna use some of those. Um, I may wanna use some of this washi, and I have all of these boxes. So this is meadow, which is the green, and this is brook, which is the blue, and then both of the colors are in the spring boxes deco sheet. So. I have everything aside here. Um, let's start with some of these strips here, these washi strips. They're not really washi, they're sticker strips. They're like border strips. But this is really cute. It has a kind of a cottage core thing going on here. Check it out. So the strips have this really beautiful bluish green leafing going on with a lot of white, which really does scream cottage core to me, which is really fun, right? Especially for spring. So let's lay a piece down right here. Let's go across the bottom. We'll just try that. We will start there. I'm just going to trim it right on the edge here and then pull this piece up and hold that off to the side. And let's put another piece over on this other side. I'm not sure, do I wanna go all the way or do I wanna put one of these? I kinda of wanna put this in there. Let's pull this sticker up. So we have this beautiful basket with some bunnies. It's super cute. And I think I wanna put this right down over here on this end here. These bunnies are cute because they're just kind of splaying off the edge. <laughs> it's just fun. So if I set that kind of here, I can put this in part way so let me not put it all the way down so let's put this here part way and we're going to just kind of trim it where it goes under the bunny just like so cute and I think I can put a little piece over on this end I'll use this smaller piece here and kind of fit that right on the edge Okay, there we have it. Our basket of spring bunnies. That's really cute. Let's put in some box clusters before we get any further. So I do wanna use some of these, but I wanna also use these. So I'm gonna go with the meadow first and I'm gonna kinda of start right in this area right here place this big box kind of off center because we're gonna work around that. I wonder if I should get one of these. Let's do that. Let's pull one of these to add to this cluster. This one's really cute. I like this flower a lot. So on this one, I'm gonna use the line to line this up. There we go, just like so. Yes, that's really cute. And let's put a box right here. So let's go into this blue side here and let's put one of these boxes. And for this one, I'll do this so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna leave some air around it, just like so. Okay, so there is a cluster and we'll be adding some things to it afterwards. So let's do another cluster over on this side. Let's do the long box again, only this time, let's maybe go down into this area right here. Yeah, let's do that. 
So we'll overlap this line just a bit, like so. And then we're gonna build on this. So let's get a, let's get a green, let's use one of these square boxes. I really do like square boxes. And again, I'm going to use the line to line this one up, kind of like so. Just like so. Yes. And we want to put one here. Well, let's use one of the decorative ones. So let's do this blue one here that has all this really pretty flowers and whatnot in it. And we're going to do the same that we did here and kind of just go a little off, leaving a little air in between it all. Okay, so we have two clusters here that are balancing each other. Let's see, let's put some more boxes. We could put another small cluster up in here. Let's go blue. This time we'll start this one on the line, but we're gonna jet over a little bit. I don't wanna go too, too much because I don't wanna interrupt that. So we'll jet over maybe about, maybe about that much. And, oh, let's use another one of these. Let's go green. This one would be cute. And instead of going down below, although we could, that would make kind of a whole long cluster. Let's go up above, and we're gonna put this one right in this box, but we're gonna overlap. So I'm turning it upside down because sometimes that's easier to, easier to see what you're doing. I want it to overlap just enough so it looks like it's overlapping, but I'm keeping it in that box. Okay, that looks really cute. Could go down a little bit too, but we'll leave it there for now. Actually, I want to go down. Let's go down a bit. Let's go down just a touch more. I want to really make sure this is overlapping. Yeah. Because we can put another small box up there. There we go. Like that. We'll put another small box up here. So let's see. Let's look at these green ones. This is a little thinner. And we'll put this one up here. Only we'll give it that same air. It makes it go off the edge a little bit, but um, I'm okay with that. Let's take this one, this other decorative one that looks like this, and let's set her right down in here. And we're gonna go right in the box, but on top of this line. Yes. I like that. There, we have some boxes. That should that should get us going this week, right? You know, I really like this long box. Let me grab my white out. Okay, I found it. And I wanna just white this word note out right here. Just like so. And let's take this long box. It's always nice to have a long box in the sidebar. Now I could go up here. I could do that. I kind of want to go down here though because that'll give all of these box clusters some movement so we're gonna go just like so there's a line at the bottom that I'm lining up and then we'll just bring it right up just like so okay so I think this is nice because it gives kind of a movement with the clusters like this and I like that I think I like that a lot Okay, so I do want to put some lines in, but I also want to put some decor in. I think we're going to do dec decor first and lines afterwards. So let's see what we got there. These bunnies are super cute, and I think I want to use all of them this week. Um, we have some bunnies in our backyard, so it's been really fun to look out in our backyard between the squirrels and all the different types of birds we get. The bunnies are just adorable. I really like this one up here. He's kind of all splayed out. I want to lay him here, but I want to put some more of the washi on. I have one more strip of this washi. I have a little extra over here on the side. Um, if I put it like this, I think that might be too high. I could though, which is an interesting idea. Maybe I'll do that. I know what I'll do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trim this down, but I'm going to lay it down first. See if this works. Let me grab this and I'm going to trim this washi in half. Let's see. I don't want to cut my desk. <laughs> it's 
let's put something underneath it like this piece of paper right here okay so I have my knife here and I just want to thin it out a little bit I'm gonna thin this whole strip out so I'm gonna hold this stencil down hopefully it'll stay and I'm going to just trim it in half just like it was a skinny washi which you know I love to use so just kind of try to put enough pressure to go through the one layer and not the two. So hopefully I, hopefully that worked out, right? And um, let's see. Let's see if we got this. Yes. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's really cute. Now I have this really skinny washi we can play with. I'm going to hold this off to the side and trim this off right here. I feel like I'm doing surgery. And there, we made a skinny washi. Um, that's super cute. Because I also just really want this bunny here. He's just all splayed. <laughs> I love how he's laying here. I want to kind of use this line, but he's going to be laying over the top of this washi a bit. But like he's hanging down on this line. So let me, let me work him out here. Kind of like... So, like he's just hanging out. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Right? Look at that. Super adorable. Okay. That was kind of fun. That was kind of fun. Um, oh, look at this guy. He's so tall. I think he could look really nice right here. Yes. I'm going to trim the bottom of his feet just a tiny bit. I, and really, it's not the, the feet, it's the white part where his feet are, the sticker part, there, so that he sits better on this box. But I think he could look really cute up here, hanging out. There we go. I have one more bunny left. Yes, let's trim the bottom of him off too. Just like so. I kind of want them right here. I'm going to move them over. See this line right here? I want to try to cover that a little bit with him. So we'll move them over to the edge a little bit. Everybody doesn't have to be sitting right in the middle, right? We'll just move them right about there. He's just hanging out on that box. So we have movement with our bunnies too. Okay, this is super cute. I am loving this. Let's pull in some of these leafing. They're really pretty. They're very delicate too. But I think this could look nice just kind of like that. Like so. Oh yeah, that's pretty. There's another one here. Let's put this one over by this other box right here in that space. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. I like that. Let's put some lines in before we go any further. So um, I'm just gonna use my check off here and I'll put some lines in just a few boxes. I have a blue gel pen. I think it would look nice with this, but um, I'm gonna put some lines maybe right here. So I'm just lining this up at the bottom. These come from the Happy Planner website. They still have them available if you're interested. I really like them. It comes, I think it comes in a two pack. This one has square checkoff boxes on it. The other one has circles. I mostly just use them for the lines though. Okay, I think that looks nice. Um, let's go ahead and put one just over here on this other side. Okay, oh, I think those look really nice. The blue worked out. So this is looking cute, but I think I might want a quote. So I'm gonna look through my books. I wanna find something that's a little delicate. So uh, give me just a moment. Okay, I went through a few books and I came to the farmhouse book here, which is really fun. These quotes look like they might work because there's they have like a, the 
cursive writing and it's a little delicate. It's not so heavy handed. They're uh, copper foil too. I think some of these might work. I want to put a quote here and I want to try to put one up here too. I like this do all things with kindness quote. Let me see if I can get this one up over there. See if we have the space for this. Right above him. Oh yeah, see, that's cute. Do all things with kindness. Um, yes. Okay, I like that. I like that. And then I want one right here. So let's see. Um, life takes time. This one's kind of big. Um, you are capable of amazing things. That one looks more more of the black. I like the um the foiling. Live in love is cute too. Okay, let me uh get my white out again. I'm gonna wipe this line out right here. We're gonna put a quote right above here. And either one of those quotes will work, but they both would need this line. White it out. Well, I should have gone the other way, right? Okay, we can do this. Pick up the little leaves. Okay. And now we white it out. Okay. Cute. I think I like this life takes time because it's a little bit bolder and um, it says do everything with kindness and life takes time. I like the life takes time because everybody's just kind of lounging around spring, right? We're not in a hustle of a bustle of a situation. So um, we're going to put this in here. I love looking through the books, looking for these quotes to fit different spreads. It's kind of fun. Look at that. <gasps> that looks really cute. I love that. Okay. Okay. Let's see what else we can get into. Let's put this basket in here. Let me move this aside. And let's take this basket right here. I want to trim the bottom white parts off. So it sits kind of nice on this box over here. And let's set this. I think it'll fit right here. And again, just like I covered this line right here, I'm going to do the same right here. So I'm not covering it all the way, but I don't need to white everything out, right? Let's put that right like so. Oh yeah. So that brings this basket color up in there. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this. Let's bring this other part of this skinny washi in right here. Let's put a little bit right here. We'll just go up to our bunny and I'm going to cut it kind of at an angle like so. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And let's put this piece down in this area. So let me go off the edge just a bit so I can get a straight cut. And we'll go right up to this leafing situation. So I'll cut this one at an angle too. And then trim off this end. Oh, that just adds a little extra color over there too. Nice. I want to add some of these flowers in here. Um, but I think I might cut some down a little bit. So let's put one right here. That looks really cute. And then I'll just trim it right on the edge. And then we can take the other half and put it right here. Nice. Let's take this other large one and cut her also. Let's cut right here. We're going to cut right through the center. I want to make sure I have a piece of the inside on both sides. And let's put one. Oh, let's put one right here in this area. Cute. And let's put this one maybe here. So it looks like it's going behind the box. Like so. Okay. 
let's pull one of these little ones and let's fit it right up in here in that area oh look at that i like that i like how that flows up in there let's take this flower here and um, put her right here in this juncture cute let's go for some dots here so let's put one right here and let's also put a green one with it oh look at that just adds enough color right let's do another one right up here so we'll put a dot right here and then we'll do a green one underneath it right about there oh, look at that nice color you know, I think we're done. Let's get the planner and put her in there. I think this turned out really nicely. It's so pretty and delicate and fresh, like just like spring should be. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with these little bunnies. So do all things with kindness and life takes time. So slow down too. So I used my spring garden collection. I used the spring garden sheet. This is the sheet that had all the bunnies and the baskets. I used some of the spring washi as well as meadow and brook boxes, and then the spring boxes, the decorative boxes. And um, I think it worked out nicely. I'll put a link for this spring sticker collection in my Etsy shop down below for you in case you wanna check it out. I'm excited to use this next week. I'm also excited for next week. We have Easter coming up on Sunday, which is always a lot of fun. What do you have that you're looking forward to next week? I would love to hear from you down in the comments below. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have a magical day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.